Welcome, Scorpios. Hi. This is the Empress. Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I hope that you get everything that your heart desires coming into 2020. All right, so let's talk about January. All right, let's talk about January. Let's get into some things, Scorpios. Let's get into some things. Come on, come on with me. All right, so let's get into some channel messages. Let's see. Let's see what we can pick up immediately, okay? So this message is going to be for Scorpios. They may or may not resonate with you, okay? Um, check your moon and your rising if it does not resonate with you. This energy can be vice versa, okay? And let's see. All right, so I feel like you guys are waiting or things are in the air or there has been some type of sacrifice like you've sacrificed something okay i feel like you're going on a new journey in love okay love begins all right so maybe you've been waiting for the right person waiting for the right opportunity in love yeah you've been patient okay you've been practicing patience you could be dealing with the sagittarius okay all right, we got throat chakra, okay? So this is communication coming in. Are you speaking, okay? How there is hope for a situation, okay? You're having hope or you're wanting to heal something. Look, we got passion ignited. Someone wants a fresh new start or some romantic. Look, the light card, sun card, Leo's energy. But definitely, nonetheless, great energy, okay? It's fun, um, coming out of the dark. Okay, so... Yeah, it looks like you guys have been taking a break, okay? Some of you guys may have separated yourselves from certain people, and it looks like you guys are ready to come out now. It looks like you guys are ready to come out right now. Your intuition is strong, okay? Your intuition is telling you that it is now time to take control. All right, so let's see what messages we have. Mm, Scorpio, I see y'all. All right, Scorpios, let's see. Scorpios, Scorpios. What message is there for Scorpios? Yes, please. All right. We got three of them. At the bottom of the deck, we have the solar plexus. Solar plexus. And then we have third eye chakra, okay? All right. And then we have you guys' energy transformation. So maybe you know that it's time to make some type of change, okay? I feel like some of you guys know that it's time to stop doing something and make some type of changes, okay? So let's look at the cards here, okay? The card we have is Love Begins, all right? So there's a new journey in love, okay? We got Stand Your Ground, something that you've been fighting for. And then we have Crown Chakra, Crown chakra, now at the bottom of the deck, you did have solar plexus. Crown chakra is saying that you know. So for some reason, you know that it's time for you to stand up for something in love, okay? It's something you know. You know that you got to stand up for something. You got to stand up for a lover. You got to stand up for your relationship. You have to prove, you know that you have to prove something here. I'm picking that up. Like, I have to prove this, okay? Solar plexus is saying that I can, okay? Third eye chakra is saying I know, okay? So, I feel like you guys know exactly what it is that you want, okay? You're just going after it is what I'm picking up. You're, growing, you're going after exactly what it is that you want. You've decided that it is time for you to stand your ground in matters of love. And I feel like you, you know. You know exactly what it is that you need to do. With that third eye chakra, you're saying that I see. And solar plexus, I can. The crown chakra is I know. So you are you know exactly what it is that you need to do in order for something to work. You're standing your ground. You got a point to prove. And I feel like you're going after exactly what it is that you want. I mean, that is beautiful. That is a beautiful way to start 2020 off. Love begins. Okay, let's see. Love begins. Love begins. Love begins. Two of Pentacles. So you had a decision that you need to make. I'm telling you, you guys know that you needed to change something. Okay, someone is saying that they're going to make some type of change. Ooh, to make somebody happy. Oh, okay. Ten of Cups. This is the love that everyone is trying to get to, baby. This is happy. Family, love, 
emotional fulfillment, okay? But again, this is Page of Cups. Someone is speaking that. Someone is speaking that, and someone knows that they need to make some changes, okay? So I feel like you guys know what you need to do, okay? But stay in your ground. Let's see why stay in your ground is here, okay? Let's see why stay in your ground is here. Stay in your ground. Stay in your ground. Justice. You could be involved with a Libra. So this is about balancing out the scales, okay? This is about going for it, doing what's right and just, okay? Look, we got... The Ace of Swords and the Star Card. Okay, so this is like hoping that a person can see the truth, okay? So I feel like you're standing up for love and you're hoping that this person can see what your intentions are, that your intentions are real. Why is Crown Chakra here? Why is Crown Chakra here? Why is Crown Chakra here? Crown Chakra. Crown Chakra. Why is Crown Chakra here? Why is crown chakra here? Okay, look, the judgment card. And then we got that standing up again. Okay, standing up again. We got the judgment card. Crown chakra once again. I know. I know that I have to make a final decision. Okay, I know that I have to try to give this a fight, give this a chance. Why is judgment here? Why is judgment here? Mm -hmm. Giving something a second chance, okay? Giving something a second chance, okay? I feel like there were disappointments in the past, okay? But I feel like you were waiting for the right moment to give this a second shot, okay? You, you were patiently waiting for the right moment, okay? I'm picking up on investments, okay? Seven of Pentacles is when you're being patient, so you're investing the Ace of Pentacles is reaping the reward. All right. So I feel like you, you're, you're giving something a second chance and you're really full-fledged fighting for it. Okay. And I love this energy for Scorpios. Good, 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 good energy. Love it. Love it. Right. So you guys could be most definitely giving something a, a real deal shot. Okay. And standing your ground with it. And that is so lovely. I love that energy. Now, let's take a look into obstacles. Is there anything in the way? Okay. I want you to know what the obstacles are so you can know what needs to be looked at, what needs to be worked on. Okay. So let's take a look into obstacles. Okay. Let's let's figure it out so we can talk about it. And we're going to get into some things. Okay. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Oh, okay. There we go. How many is that? We got the three. All right. So at the bottom of the deck, we have eight of earth. Okay. And this is most definitely putting in the effort. That's this, that's to, to this card in a nutshell is putting in the work. Okay. So skilled work is rewarded. Learning all there is to know about a topic that is most definitely putting in effort. Okay. What happened? I know I saw a knight. Oh, no. We got ego. I'm sorry. We got ego. The knight of earth is behind that. We got ego. Okay. Someone's ego could most definitely be in the way. Okay. So a false sense of entrapment, being overly focused on material things or negative or fear-based thoughts. Okay. So that could most definitely be a challenge. Someone trying to control their egos, okay? All right, let's take a look at the cards. All right, so we have the King of Air. And we have Page of Air. Wow. And the Ten of Earth, okay? All right, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. The king of air is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, is energy. Okay, but this is most definitely being logical, okay, and thinking things through clearly. This is also about communication, being able to communicate effectively, all right? So maybe some of you guys are coming off as really, really cold or blunt or really, really straightforward, okay? And this is about being a leader, okay, speaking your mind with confidence, um, and balance your mental and emotional, okay? This is of someone that is very brilliant, professional, okay? So maybe there is a sense of needing to be more uh, serious, 
I'm picking that up as well because the King of Swords, he's very serious, okay? He's not to be played with, okay? But then we got the Page of Air, which is, this is my spy card, okay? This is someone that is, Im, you know, kind of immature. So I feel like most definitely things need to be taken a lot more seriously, um, Scorpios, okay? Because we got the adult and we have the minor here. Okay, we have the one that's just jumping out there, just learning things, and then this is him as an adult, as a grown person, all right? So this is also about being logical and honest, but this is most definitely impulsive um, behavior, okay? Being too curious, okay? Delays or changes to plans, truth being delivered without tact. So like I said, this is someone that's very immature who brings you information just, oh, I heard such and such and such and such. Oh, this is that, that, woo, 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 gossiping and things to that sort, okay? So this is definitely about leveling up in communication, okay? Because like I said, this is very young energy and this is the very adult energy. And then we have that Ten of Pentacles. Now the Ten of Pentacles is about family, the Ten of Pentacles is a legacy. Um, this is about most definitely financial stability and long term. A very happy, happy family life, financial security, and finding magic in the little things in life. Okay, so this is about being taking things seriously um, and being very secure financially and making sure that you have your ducks in a row. And this is also involving family. So what I'm also picking up as well is there may be little spies in the family or hearsay, sh he say, she say in the family. I'm picking that up as well, like gossiping um, as well. I'm picking that up. Okay. Um, but nonetheless, I do feel like there's uh, needs to be a look at how you communicate okay or what you tell your family this could most definitely be what you tell your family about a loved one okay or what you tell your family about a relationship okay but this page of swords is definitely um you know this is the spy card this is the immature card this person is is very flighty and you know impulsive all right so that could be something that needs to be worked on all right so now we're going to look into um we're going to get into love okay let's look into love and let's see what we get for scorpios in love because i feel like you guys are doing it in love all right you know what you want you're going after what it is that you want and i feel like it's in regards to love because you guys have the ace of cups which is love begins okay so this is a new beginning in love all right so let's see let's see what's going on scorpios oh the first one wait let me get the other two let me get the other two messages what are the other two messages for scorpio what are the other two messages for Scorpio, please? What do we have for Scorpios? Scorpios. All right. At the bottom of the deck, guys, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Okay, so maybe there's a conversation that you need to have. Honestly, discuss your feelings with each other because somebody feel like they got the love of their life. Someone feels like this person could be the one and you guys may be going on a little trip, taking some alone time together, baby. Yes, boo, yes. All right, let's look at the cards. All right, so we got codependency, all right? So this is about addictions are affecting your romantic life, okay? So this is the devil card in tarot. So this could most definitely be like the toxic things, um, the things that we, you know, really don't want people to know, things that we are bound to, things that we are tied to, okay? It could most definitely be an addiction to anything, okay? But they could be affecting your romantic life, okay? I feel like a lot of you guys, we got let go of control issues. So paired up here with codependency definitely makes me feel like somebody's addicted to being in control 
okay? Somebody um, loves to be, you know, needed. I'm getting like a lot of needy energy as well, like clingy energy, possessive energy, okay? And then we have religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and your spiritual path. Okay, so some of you guys, you know, want to do things the proper way. You're looking at things, doing, want to do things by the book. So some of you have your mind set exactly how you want to do things, and it could be a traditional way of viewing things, okay? So someone could feel like someone could be, a, you know, a little controlling um, in that sense. So allow the situation to unfold naturally is going to be the advice. Oh, four of wands, definitely a marriage, okay? We got the queen of wands and the ten of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Most definitely a marriage here, okay? Um, I'm picking up that some of you guys are already married or are planning on getting married, okay? With that four of wands there, most definitely family. Someone is codependent upon their family, why is the Four of Wands here? Okay. There could be issues involving family or house, or, you know, living in living together. Someone possibly needs someone for stability. Okay, is what I'm picking up as well. And then we got let go of control issues. Why is let go of control issues here? Okay, yes, there's an ongoing thing here. Could be in re in regards to finances. King of Pentacles here, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Let's see why is the Two of Pentacles here. Someone is like juggling. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Someone can't make up their mind here. Oh, yeah, someone's definitely controlling. Someone feels like someone is too controlling. Okay. <laughs> the Emperor, he's all about control. This is the control card. <laughs> someone definitely feels like someone is too controlling. Okay. Um, someone wants someone to do something or is family involved in some way, shape, or form. Okay. Someone, um, you know, just isn't sure what to think or how to feel. Someone feels that definitely like someone is too controlling. Okay, we have religious factors. Why is religious factors here for us? Scorpios? All right, we got the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Someone is deciding that someone wants to make some changes, okay? Someone may not want things to be done traditionally. Um, why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Okay, all right, so someone's making some changes to try to be, be more cooperative, okay? Someone is is willing to make some type of changes to make something work, I see that. I most definitely see that. Someone does want to cooperate and work together to make some something go right, go the way that it's supposed to go, yeah. Someone is willing to put in the work, okay? Yeah, and they're not going to quit. Someone is saying, I'm not going to stop working on this. We're going to make some changes. We're going to make this work. Okay, so the thing of it is, is that someone feels as if somebody is too controlling. Okay, and that's what I'm picking up. There could be quarrels within the family. Okay, all right, so let's get advice from the angels, and I'm going to let you guys go, okay? So let's see what the angels have for you. Let's see what the angels have for you. What advice do the angels have for you? Well, let's just see how this stuff here. All right. So we have divine life purpose. All right. Trust the signs and your inner guidance, which are leading you to fulfillment. So this is all about trusting your own intuition. Okay. Trust your intuition. Don't let others steer you to do something that you don't want to do, that you feel like isn't right. And look at the bottom of the deck, revealing your true self. Be you. Do things the way you want to do it. Um, 
you know exactly what it is that you want, okay, and how you would like things to go. Speak your mind, okay, beautiful. I want to get one more card for you guys. Ooh, okay, that one jump out. Okay, we have give it to God. Give it to God. Take a deep breath, and on the exhale, release this situation to God for healing and answers, okay? Pray on it. Pray on it and ask God to lead you, okay? Because I feel like you guys are getting ready to do some life-changing things. You're about to get ready to go on a journey, okay? Because we have life-changing epiphany or experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you. And God is supporting you each step of the way. You guys are getting ready to do some amazing things in 2020, all right? So I'm excited for you guys. The energy has been on 10 for 2020. Everybody's reading has been like, mm, mm, mm. And I just so, I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. All right, so until next time, my loves, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Ciao for now.